Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to do a review and a wear and tear on my three full-size Louis Vuitton wallets. I have the full-size Zippy, I have the Monogram Clements, and also the Empreinte in the Clements. So I'm going to start with the Zippy because it's the one I have owned for the longest. I've had this one since 2013. And I kind of feel like the measurements are a little bit off on the Louis Vuitton site on these, so I'm just going to show you. It's almost eight inches long and top to bottom a little over four. So this one is in the Damier Ben print, gold tone hardware. And as far as wear and tear, which is amazing, there's just a few hairline scratches. Not bad at all for a wallet that's uh, four years old. The zipper is very smooth on this one. You have eight credit card slots, four on each side. Kind of hard to see because it's such a dark interior. Behind each credit card slot, an opening. Then in front of each, an opening. And then you also have another little compartment there as well and the zip center section for coins. This particular one is made in the USA but just says Louis Vuitton Paris and I just grabbed some you know random cards just to show you how uh, you can stuff this wallet. So this front slot here has three cards absolutely easy to get in and out. Um, it's not too loose where anything's gonna fall out, but you can really fit a lot in this. This one, I just have two different cards in that one, just to kind of give you an idea. This one is great if you like to keep a lot of receipts. Uh, you can just fill it, you can put your car key in here. It's just huge. It is also, However, a little bit heavy and a little bit bulky also when you're carrying this in your bags. My favorite wallets actually are the Clements, and I do tend to carry this a little bit more. I got this one in 2014, right after it was released. Um, it came with fuchsia interior, and there might have been an orange. I can't quite remember. This one is made in France. And exactly like the Zippy, you have eight credit card slots, four on each side, a compartment behind. You do not have the extra little compartment in between. The coin part is lined in brown and not in fuchsia. I'm not quite sure why they did that. And the measurements on this one are a little bit under eight. And then from top to bottom, um, a little less than three and a half, close to three and a half. When this one came out, a lot of people were very concerned about the leather tab pull, and I did have mine start to kind of warp a little bit and curl. What I found is when I put it in my bag, just have to take an extra second, and I just put it up like that so that it's not leaning under or getting mashed by anything else. But as I said, I've had this one since 2014, and once again, there's really nowhere. The leather tab is perfect. The inside, um, great. 
The only thing I will say about this one versus the Zippy, let me get a few of these cards out so I can show you, is when you have cards in the top of it, it will kind of catch on the zipper if you don't have them put in all the way. So on the top, I'm gonna put two cards in here. Let me see if I can fit three. Oh yeah, three fits easily. But sometimes when you put a card in, you might leave it sticking up a little bit like that and the zipper will kind of catch a little bit on it. You have to just make sure that you have them all the way pushed down in there. But this one, I don't know, it's just the profile of it versus this one. It just seems to fit a little bit better in more bags. I don't know, it's a little lightweight compared. I mean, that's a pretty, you know, significant difference. So it just kind of depends how much you like to carry. And then the Omkron Clements I have had since 2015. And this one is also going to be made in France. This one does have the matching interior on the change part. And once again, eight credit card slots, four on each side, and then your opening behind as well. Uh, this one, as a, if you've watched my um, Rose Ballerine collection video, uh, very impressed. No color transfer, uh, nothing from carrying bills, receipts. I have used this for coins, nothing. And again, no wear whatsoever. Um, show it next to the monogram. There is a significant price difference between, if you're looking just for the canvas and not for the monogram version, um, there's even a, a difference between the canvas to the emprunt as well. But the full-size Zippy goes for $805. I believe I got this before a price increase. I, I don't think I spent that much on this one. Um, this one, the monogram, goes for $530. That's a pretty big difference. Of course, you are getting more hardware on this one. You get the really substantial zipper pull but I don't have any problem with the leather tab pull at all. And then the Empreinte is uh, $720. So full leather is still less than canvas. Um, if I had to choose between all of them, um, if I could only have one, it would probably be the monogram, just because I, I do, um, feel like I have to be very careful with this one and I don't use it in dark colored interior bags. Um, I do, you know, I am aware that you could get color transfer. So far I haven't, hopefully I won't, but I, I don't use it with anything dark. So anything um, Damia Ben with the red interior, unless I'm using a purse organizer, I won't reach for this one. Uh, this one is my favorite out of the three. And I love the fuchsia interior. Um, I love Rose Ballerine, but this one is just, I mean, it's still a pop of color, but it's completely worry-free. However, if you do carry a lot, uh, this is going to last you a lifetime. I have a girlfriend that's had one for 20 years in the monogram print. It looks brand new. Uh, amazing how well Louis Vuitton uh, small leather goods wear. really is. So I'll show you all of them one more time next to each other just so you can get an idea if you are trying to debate between any of these wallets. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you back on my channel again very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.